हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल आई प्रे फॉर यू ऑल गॉड गिव यू अ लॉन्ग लाइफ एंड यू लिव ऑलवेज हैप्पी देयर प्लीज लाइक एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो एंड आल्सो सब्सक्राइब माय यूट्यूब चैनल आई हैव अ रिक्वेस्ट टू यू ऑल वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल एंड फॉर सपोर्टिंग मी सो लेट स्टार्ट टू डे इन्फॉर्मेशन दीज आर सम अपडेट्स ऑन दिन आर बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो आई हैव टू टेल यू समथिंग गो टू गूगल डॉट कॉम and search to naropinions.com and open this site here you can see the latest news dinar opinions and dinar guru updates on a single page so visit this site for more information article removing zeros and revaluing the iraqi dinar quote the term redenomination or as it is called removing zeros from the currency Countries usually resort to it to address rampant inflation and the decline in the value of the local currency as the old currency is replaced with a new currency at a fixed price by removing at least 3 zeros from the old currency. Currency revaluation becomes necessary when it comes to hyperinflation because it takes a very large number of old banknotes to facilitate trade. An example of this is what happened in 2006 when Zimbabwe renamed its currency at a rate of 1000 old Zimbabwe dollars for a new Zimbabwe dollar renaming the currency is a complex decision that requires a comprehensive study we were told that this is definitely the weak and that individual was a member of the new united states treasury i believe that that's a good a good assessment of where we are so i'm very excited about where we finally are in this quest when we talk about a new monetary and financial system What exactly do we mean? Essentially, it's a framework that governs how money is managed and circulated within an economy. It's about ensuring the smooth transition of money from one point to another. Now, why is this significant? A good system boosts international confidence, and this can lead to more investments. It's like giving a facelift to the entire economic setup. Suddenly, the currency becomes more reliable and stable and an improved economic image is projected globally but let's take a step back how does this affect us at the ground level imagine planning your next vacation a stable currency means you might get a better deal on exchanging money abroad or maybe you're an entrepreneur a stable currency minimizes risks involved in international trading For students studying overseas, it could mean your tuition fees become more predictable. These are just a few examples. Now, speaking of changing the exchange rate, what does this entail? Exchange rates determine how much currency from one country is worth in another. So, releasing a new exchange rate indicates a shift in this value. This can directly impact import and export prices. ever bought imported goods like electronics or fashion a favorable exchange rate might make these goods cheaper and if you're selling products internationally your revenues could get a significant boost now let's explore this from a wider lens why is sales announcement crucial on an international scale in an increasingly globalized world economic stability is paramount Countries prefer trading with those that offer financial predictability. By introducing these changes, it could open doors to more partnerships and deals. This is about crafting a robust economic future that caters to present needs while securing upcoming challenges. So, why now? There could be numerous factors at play. Maybe it's due to existing economic conditions necessitating a change. or it could be that technological advancements have paved the way for this new system what's essential here is acknowledging its potential impact and yes there's a lot more to unfold as details emerge over time quick question have you ever wondered why currency values can change drastically today we're diving into an intriguing topic the potential revaluation of the iraqi dinar Have these recent articles really been hinting at what we once saw in Kuwait? Stick around as we explore the possibility of deleting zeros and what it means for the Iraqi currency. Let's start by understanding why this topic is grabbing attention.
currency value is crucial because it affects everything from groceries to international trade. Imagine going to bed with a certain amount in your bank account and waking up to a completely different value. That's the kind of impact a change like this can have. Now, why specifically Iraq? First, there's been ongoing change to fortify the country's economic standing. For a revaluation to occur, certain conditions are essential. According to many financial experts, Iraq has ticked nearly all those boxes. You've heard of Iraq's oil wealth, right? Their abundant resources lay a solid foundation for currency stabilization. Another key element is political stability. Imagine building a house on shaky ground, it's just not going to work. With a more stable government, investor confidence tends to increase. More investments usually lead to a stronger economy, which is promising for currency value. Now on to the hot topic, the leading zeros. Kuwait did something similar, and it led to significant economic improvement. This involves removing zeros from the currency to simplify transactions and reduce inflation. You might be wondering, why does Iraq want to do this? The main goals are to control inflation, stabilize their economy, and simplify daily financial dealings. Open conversations in Iraq about changing these dynamics indicate a positive shift. Various discussions have been happening across the country. From coffee shops to parliament, people are talking about this possible change. And that's what makes it so intriguing. A lot of groundwork has been done to ensure this transition would be successful. They've taken steps to improve their economic policies and strengthen financial institutions. It's like preparing for a marathon, you can't just show up on race day without training. But as exciting as it sounds, it's important to approach this with caution. Economies are delicate, and changes in currency value can have widespread impacts. What can we learn from Kuwait's experience? Their structured approach played a big role in their success. A planned and cautious approach is usually a smart move when it comes to revaluation. How will these changes impact daily life for Iraqis? For many, it could mean an improved standard of living and more stable prices. But with any change, there are always challenges. It'll be crucial to remain informed and adaptable as these discussions progress. What's your take on this? Have you ever experienced something similar in your country? We'd love to hear from you in the comments. If you found this conversation insightful, make sure you hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We'll be keeping an eye on this story bringing you updates as they unfold. Until next time, keep exploring the world around you. Thanks for watching.